all right so in this video we are going to talk about the issue which uh, a lot of people are facing and there are lots of messages uh, which i got so let's just discuss the issue uh, the issue is uh, basically with this expansion board and after uploading the firmware the board is still not working uh, uh, so this is the issue which uh, i got from many people so uh, after up uploading the uh, the firmware for the esp32 uh, uh, chip which is on this board the other two chips are working fine right so let's just discuss the issue uh, so after uploading the firmware if you are getting the same issue and then you need to have some type of soldering experience right so we have to remove few components from this board so uh, make sure you have a soldering experience and otherwise uh, just hire a uh, uh, someone uh, which has a uh, soldering experience so all you have to do is you have to remove these two uh, resistors uh, from this board so let me show you in a, a proper diagram over here so over here you can see you have to remove these two components right and then you have to check the board uh, if it's working fine or not right so uh, make sure if your board is not working after uploading the firmware then you uh, remove these components right so this is uh, the fix and uh, this is the same issue which i was facing so i have to remove these two components right uh, so as i said uh, make sure you have a soldering experience uh, to remove this component and i will provide uh, this image uh, in the description uh, so you can uh, check it for reference Thank you.